Hey guys, uh, welcome to Play Infinite's newscast, and it's February 4th, uh, 2012 edition. Um, sorry about that loud background noise. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. So, the first thing I want to say is, Android, uh, sorry, US smartphones have now reached 100 million, uh, uh, smartphone usage in the US only. Um, and out of that, Android and Apple are the most prevalent. So as you can see here, in this uh, graph, um, in September 2011, Android has 44... So I'm going to be focusing on Android, which is Google, and Apple for iOS and iPhones. Um, RIM, is, uh, RIM is here, Microsoft here, and Symbian, which is Nokia's operating system. Microsoft has the Windows Phone, and RIM has the BlackBerry OS. Um, so, in September 2011, Google had 44.8%, Apple had 27.4%, uh, RIM has 18.9%, Microsoft 5.6%. And then Microsoft in December 2011, they actually went down, even though due to the advertising and everything they did. Um, so they dropped to 4.7%, and Symbian dropped uh, to 1.4%. RIM dropped by 2.9% to 16%, and Apple increased by 2.2% to 29.6%, and Google increased uh, to 47.3%, uh, which is a 2.5% change. So as you can see, Android's increasing the fastest. Um, Apple's very close by. Everything else is losing um, share, market share. Um, so yeah, it looks like Android and Apple are going to be the main subscribe, uh, main smartphone uh, operating systems and smartphone platforms in 2012 or in 2011. And that's that. And then I also have another chart. Uh, these to uh, this has the total mobile OEMs, the manufacturers basically. So Samsung has 26, 25%, point, 25.3 in September. Uh, in December, they had 25.3, exact same thing, they never changed. LG, 20.6, 20 20.4, 20 uh, 20.0, uh, they went down by 0.6. Motorola, they went down by 0.5. Apple, they increased by 2.2, like I said, above, back up there. And RIM, they decreased by 0.4. So RIM's actually decreasing less than the speed of LG and Motorola. Um, and yeah, so Samsung stayed the same and Apple increased. So that's it for this, this story. And the next thing, with that being said, um, there are now more smartphones in the US. Uh, more smartphones were shipped than PCs in 2012. So um, we have another good chart over here, which shows everything clearly. So quarter four 2011, um, smartphone shipments 158 uh, million yeah 158 million and then point five um, total PCs 120 million I remember this is quarter uh, for 2011 um, so it looks like the smartphone uh, industry is uh, increasing really fast and then we have the pads which includes the iPads the Android tablets the Blackberries the all tablets, which is 26.5 million, not quite close to PCs yet, or not even close to PCs yet. Um, we have a few netbooks, 6.7 million, uh, 57.9 notebooks, and 29.1 uh, desktop. Okay, yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it, and then you can see the growth. Uh, so in total, uh, they just sold 487, PC sold 414 million, this uh, tablets sold 63 million, um, netbooks sold 29 million, notebooks sold 209 million, and desktop sold 112.4 million. And you can see the growth right here, and the tablets, which is pads, had a 274.2% increase so that's huge like that's just a really huge increase um, netbooks they were in decline by 25.3% and smartphones increased by 62.7% uh, 
Everything else is basically stable. Uh, PCs may be increased by 14.8, but that's basically stable. And the last thing I want to share with you guys, it's something pretty cool. Um, Dropbox is now offering uh, 5 gigabytes of free space to anyone that wants to go try out their beta. So basically, I got, well, okay, so what you have to do is, um, it's basically an experimental software that Dropbox is um, testing out right now. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is download the test program, upload a photo, just one photo, and you'll insta instantly get 500 megabytes of free storage in addition to whatever you have right now. So that's extra 500. Upload another photo or video and, and obtain an additional 500 megabytes. So it just keeps on going like that. And you can get up to 5 gigabytes. You can just keep on uploading and uploading videos and music I mean videos and photos and yeah uh, you can but the thing is you can only go up to five gigabytes of space. Uh so it's limited to five gigabytes per user. Um and remember there's always a risk of trying out uh untested software. I mean sorry unfinished software. Uh that's why Dropbox is testing it out and they're giving you all the space. Uh they know it's not fully ready, it has a few glitches, it's it's in the beta. So this is why they're automatically they're trying to test out um, how their how their cloud system handles all the uploads. So that's that. Uh, I really encourage you guys to check out Dropbox if you don't have it already. It's free space. You can upload anything to the cloud. You can access it from any computer, anything, anything that has access to the internet, basically. Um, so yeah, check out Dropbox and try getting out try getting this free space because it's actually pretty worth it. So that's the end of this episode for February 4, 2012. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, comment below, leave any feedback in the comment section. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.